In this video, we're going to go over SKU Grid store specific settings. So when you're in your SKU Grid account, you'll click on settings. You're going to click on store specific. And then you will click on Amazon or Sears slash Kmart. There's two different options here at this time. So we'll click on Amazon to set the Amazon store specific settings. Okay, there are four options on this page. If you're selling from Amazon US, if you're using that as a supplier, it's asking you which Amazon US price do you want to display? You have three options in this drop down. You can either display lowest new, lowest fulfilled, or buy box. With lowest new setting, SKU Grid is going to display the price and the stock of the lowest price seller that has the item in stock. This may be a third party merchant or it may be an Amazon.com or Amazon FBA item. But lowest new still allows you to sell from third party merchants. Lowest fulfilled will display prices in stock from only items that have Amazon fulfillment, meaning it's either shipped and sold by Amazon.com or it's sold by a different company but shipped by Amazon, which is Amazon FBA or and that's it. If it's if if Amazon fulfillment is out of stock, meaning Amazon.com has no more in stock and there are no FBA sellers and there's only third party merchants available with the lowest fulfilled setting. SKU Grid will consider your item to be out of stock, even though third party merchants have the item available. It's because you told SKU Grid, I don't want to use third party merchants. I only want it to be Amazon fulfilled or what we call prime items. The buy box setting is um, a setting that uh, SKU Grid will display whoever is in the buy box on Amazon site. So, you know, just as an example, looking at an Amazon item, this, this here, this main part of the page that pulls up when you have the item uh, pulled up on your screen, this is considered the buy box. So as you can see right now, this item is shipped and sold by Amazon.com. However, at a different point in time, Amazon tends to rotate other sellers into the buy box. So, you know, this one here may rotate into the buy box and this is shipped and sold by a third party called Plumstruck. Uh, there's another one here with unbeatable sale. So if you have the buy box setting selected, it's going to be whoever is in the buy box at the time. So that may or may not be something that you want to do. Um, the safest option is lowest fulfilled, of course, because it's only going to be items that Amazon actually ships up. So you'll have less problems with customer service returns. Um, and also, you don't have to worry about the item uh, coming from someone who's overseas. And, you know, for example, China, it might take 30 days for the item to reach the customer and you don't want that. So if you want to exclude third party merchants, from your Amazon prices, select lowest fulfilled here. If you're open to having third party merchants, you can choose between lowest new or buy box. Totally up to you. Um, if the, uh, the next option is if you select it lowest from above, you have the ability to add a, an extra percentage to non Amazon fulfilled prices. So if I were to have lowest new selected, I can add an extra percentage onto my prices if I wanted to. So let's just say I wanted to add an extra 10%. Uh, looking at this example here, you'll notice that a lot of times when they're third party merchants, they're charging extra for shipping. So, you know, this one here, even though the price is lower, they're charging an extra $25 for shipping. So this allows you to add an extra percentage to your items to help cover those costs. Okay. And same thing here with the Amazon UK price. Um, you know, you choose from lowest new, lowest fulfilled or buy box. Uh, and again, you have ability to add an extra percentage if the item is going to be lowest new. So you make the selections that you're most comfortable with and then click save settings. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and make the selections for Kmart and Sears. So you're going to go back to the store specific button. And this time you're going to click Sears slash Kmart. Okay. And it's going to ask you which Sears or Kmart price to display. 
you'll have the option to choose buy box or lowest. Um, so if you choose buy box, it's going to be, once again, just kind of how Amazon operates. Uh, Kmart and Sears operate the same way. Whoever is on that main page, as soon as you click on it, um, that's the buy box price. Um, or you can choose lowest, which it could be another seller. Kmart and Sears also allow, allow third-party sellers on their website. So you'll make the choice of buy box or lowest and click save settings. 